All right, I hope this works out. This is literally the most devastating group of uh, Edison uh, nickel cadmium cells that I've seen. It was saved for last in the last pallet in the last corner on the bottom. But you can see there's been some major cooking going on. Um, even the tops melted. Now what could this be from? I mean, forensically, it could be lightning. It could be a hydrogen explosion. Um, what happens, uh, I think that's shipping damage. The guy I bought this from, uh, he double, double loaded these pallets and the top pallets crushed the bottom battery, some of them. And they're really old and fragile so a lot of them didn't make it. Um, as I, as years go by and I get better with manufacturing, I'm going to attempt to remanufacture some cases. I'm sure with uh, 3D printing and stuff, it's going to get more and more feasible. So anyway, um, it could have been a short. But notice the, the metal, even though it's rusted from being out in the weather or something, it's not, it's not melted. So my guess it was it was a fire. Maybe it was just a fire. Maybe if these were installed in... Um, Maybe something that caught fire, like a, a train signal station or something. So I don't know if we'll ever know. So why would you be interested, or why would I even want to have these? Well, in the uh, in the auto business, you'll notice that a lot of people will take two, three, or more busted up vehicles and make one good vehicle out of the screwed up ones. It's sort of the same thing. These bus bars can be reused. There's a lot of uh, nuts nuts that can be re reused. And these are sort of proprietary deals. It's easier to, to redo them than the, than actual make them. These things, I don't know what they're called, but they hook the individual cells together and it seems to be really secure because when I see that I don't even bother trying disconnecting them because it's such a bugbear. <clears throat> I see a lot of videos from people that take these off and I, I think they're just one and done. Once they're off you can't put them back. I'm not sure. But they clip on and these used to be in a case and stuff and I find these extremely heavy. Uh, apparently I've gotten weaker, weakened, weakened in the last decade. I've been back from Iraq, but oh great, it's windy, so it's not going to be coming out very good. The audio <sighs> made in USA. So some of the lore of these is um, <clears throat> the factory got shut down because the cadmium. Uh, Plus, they're pretty expensive batteries. Uh, um, so they're not made in the U.S. anymore. They're made overseas still. Of course, I don't know with the, the situation in the world now. Who, know, who knows what's making who or who's making what? Um, so another, another bit of advice is, uh, see all those are, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those ancient runes. Where they're trying to figure out how they were trussed together. See how they the interlock here? You know some of those stone blocks and things from the ancient runes. Kind of reminds me how they're how they were interlock how they just locked together. See how that works? Pretty interesting technology if you ask me. But it survived the explosion. So um, yeah, I thought it'd be interested it's interesting to just go over a major problem here 
Now, what exactly is is is? Oh, here's some of the innards. See, that's the plastic something that's fit fitting over these, protecting them. They've been exposed and stuff to the air and things. So, um, some people have had success restoring these, even if they were dry. So. I've yet to do it. I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. A lot of these people think they can just fall out of a chicken and hatch an egg type plan just that quick. Uh, and it's not like that. You got to do a lot of research and, and a lot of pain, suffering, and expense, and poss possibly die, you know get cancer or something from being exposed to um, crazy ass chemicals so uh, if you want to get into batteries I would if I could tell myself go back in time and tell myself would I even mess with these old batteries and try to fix them up I would say no don't do it just get yourself a good reliable set of uh, uh, lithium ion batteries um, that's ion not iron or maybe I think it's lithium ion I O N um, they're called lipo 4 they're really uh, safe compared to all the other mixtures and as you can see that's a that's an issue um, I was doing some reading. What can happen with these these nickel cadmium batteries is the uh, the water level can get below the plates, and then the plates arc and spark, and then um, these emit oxygen and hydrogen from the distilled water from the current. It's kind of a, a side effect. Well, it's what happens when you charge them. Um, and so that arcing and sparking, maybe that's what happened here. It ignites, and you have a hydrogen oxygen explosion. Um, but these are burnt. I just wonder if these these got damaged somehow, independently of because. I don't see the, the cases blown out, they're just melted. If it was an explosion, it would have probably blown out the, uh, the cases somewhat. And you don't know what's been damaged here from shipping or just age. Pretty interesting. I hope somebody that's really uh, uh, obsessive can just look at this footage and kind of deduce what went on here. Maybe leave some comments in the, the YouTube comment section there like that so oh what's the date on these so the first two is the month so that's February 02 February 8 something so it's 1980 something uh, all the other date codes have been obliterated by melting so that's something to think about. If you're designing batteries or some other s system that could catch fire. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's a pen that goes inside here. A little pen, a little metal pen. That's probably recoverable. It's melted into the plastic there. If you needed a pen, there's another one. So if you're designing something that could catch fire, remember if you, if you just stamp it in something that melts or... or can get obliterated and then the whole thing can get obliterated so I would say stamp things into metal and do it in at least two places oh if it catches fire you can still if it's a date code that's a little bit of tip from this so I'm uh, limited for a time I YouTube is not a job for me it doesn't pay good enough it started uh, so I don't even hardly try anymore. I try to do a video every day, and the content, it was just, it was, it was, uh, 
not that great so kind of just gave up but because the weather's better it's springtime now 2020 and I'm starting to get a little more physically uh, active and stuff I'm, I'm sure I can have put more videos out so this was just spur of the moment I want to document it it's just I'm basically moving a couple pallets of batteries right now and this was the last one and I want to document this because I haven't seen it on YouTube yet and I've watched pretty much all the Edison Nickel Iron and Edison Nickel Cadmium batteries and then all the other brands from Saft to uh, Knifey to uh, what's this, some other ones um, Alcad there's a bunch of other manufacturers I watched a bunch of uh, uh, Asian manufacturers and, and European manufacturers and stuff. I watch all the videos, all of them, all of them. I've seen them all on YouTube, but I've never seen one yet with so much damage. So this is important. Get up there. Hopefully, this will be of value to somebody. And uh, I think that's it. I got to move this thing now. How do I move something like this? Well, um, because it's, it doesn't have any liquid in there, it's not as heavy. It's still pretty heavy though. And because these um, tabs and things are on there, I can't sep I can't just separate the bus bars and then take them as individual cells because these tabs. I don't know how to remove the tab without. I mean. I think they just clip on, but so anyway, what I'm gonna do is just get the battery onto this dolly here or hand truck, depending on your region, and uh, move it that way. Um, here's some more uh, here. Like I said, damage from shipping, plus it might have been damaged to begin with. And look at the rust. Anything that oxidizes and stuff, it has because of the, just the age. Some of the dates on here, 05, 1978. What else is interesting? Uh, look, there's different caps, right? There's this design. There's this design. I've seen a metal cap before. Here's one. And I've seen another design. It, it looks like a big big black cap. I think it's that made out of that, that rock that breathes. Hummus, maybe. It, it, interesting stuff. So, um, you know, while I'm at it, let me just make this video even better. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not, I would have just keep this video the way it is, and then uh, we'll call it good. Because I've noticed a lot of people just click off, they, their attention spans, are, they don't have time, they, they don't want to mess around with stuff. So, um, I got more videos and things, more to come up, who knows, I might die on the road today and this is it. So. If you like uh, these sort of videos, the way YouTube works, if you hit the like button, it's not for me as much as it is for you. Because uh, you do that, the little, the robot that, that the program that manages YouTube will start shooting you more videos similar to one that you just saw that you hit the like button on. If you hit the down button, down, like, down button, the unlike button, you'll see less of videos like this. So... If you want to see more like this, put the like button. If you want to see less like this, hit the down like. If you, if you don't want to vote, then you don't count. Take care.